This is wild. Episode one. I'm so excited. First episode. We've been wanting to do this for so long. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Actually, I can't lie. She's been wanting to do this for so long. And I was like, years. Sorry, girl. I didn't want to. And then one day I literally just woke up and I was like, I want to do it. My prayers were answered. So we screamed in the kitchen for like two minutes straight. And ever since then, I asked (laughs) you guys if you wanted to see a podcast. And everyone said yes, because everyone loves us together. I know. I'm so excited. So but yeah, here we are. Here we are in all its glory. We're so excited. And episode one, we hope you love it. I know. This is crazy. It's a but, little wild. I know, but it'll be fun. <laughs> it will. Um, but yeah, so I guess you guys are probably wondering how Ari and I met. I know. And a lot of people have been asking about that, actually. So. Yeah, because I feel like Sav has been more of a recent addition to the videos. Yeah. Um, and people were like, where did she come from? Because I went from Brandy we had the yeah. series regulars. Mm-hmm. <laughs> shout out Kat. Shout out Kelly. Um, and then when I left Brandy, I had to pivot. And you I came into her life. Essential. But you're also, because you're essential, part of my life. Ooh, so yay. I love to hear that. And everyone, we have like the same, we kind of have like the same. Mindset? My, yeah, but like this, our same humor. Oh, absolutely. We're kind of the same person. Just and a little we, goofy. We feed off each other. We be yapping a little bit. Yeah, a little too much. We be, we be this is what this crazy. is for. So we can yes. yap away so with you guys. everyone kind of fell in love with that. They were like, we want to see more of you guys together. Yeah. Like, not just you, Ari Boo. We want to see sex. <laughs> they, fell, y'all. they fell in love with her a little oh, bit. I more love than you guys. Me. But we love that. And also, I think they fell in love with like the roommate aspect because yeah. a lot of girls want to live with one of their best friends, you know, exactly, and yeah. you always see it on movies and TV shows and now they see us I and know. they're like, wait, that's possible. Well, Cause it could go either way. I yeah, feel like really, honestly, everyone says it. Don't live with your best friend. I feel like that's just not a good idea. Yeah. We weren't best friends at first. How did we, how did we meet Sav? <laughs> I've known her since I was like 16. Let's take it back. Let's, let's take it back. Let's take it back. <laughs> um, I've known her since I was 16, mm-hmm. a little bit of shade throwing, throwing to you right now. Oops, um, Sorry. She cycled through the familia. She I just sure love did. her family, okay? I, what can I say? She was best friends with one of my <laughs> sisters, and then, I'm not even kidding, another one of my sisters, and then oops, my sister-in-law and my brother, and then here I am. I was testing everybody out, you know? Yeah, she I had like, to who do get, I like? She had just to kidding. get through the boring ones to get to No, me. no shut <laughs> I'm kidding. I love I love all of them. Simon's family, amazing. I love, yes, love y'all. But, um... Yeah, so it was actually crazy yes. how it all happened. So we weren't really close at all. Um, no. Our age difference is very much different. I'm 23. I'm 30. So you so can see the age gap is a little... Click. It's gapping. It's gapping. <laughs> there is a gap. We didn't click when we were younger. Younger. Um, we had a period in 2020 where we were hanging out, and that was it. <laughs> but we were a little... in. We were down bad a little we bit. We were down bad in 2020, but honestly, who wasn't? Who wasn't? Yeah. It was covid we were inside, like the. I felt like the military was marching the streets, saying, yeah. "Get inside." Yeah. Well, it was actually crazy how it all happened because I moved. We both moved from Cal- from Texas to California. Yeah. I moved about two years ago, and for the first year, I was alone, a lonesome girl. Ooh, a lonely I girl. I moved alone. I had no friends here. Mm-mm. I was just like, I gotta get out. Yeah. And. A year went by, or like a, I don't even know. I guess, yeah, a year. A year, yeah. And for some reason, I was like, I don't want to be a lonesome girl anymore. Like, I want a roommate. Like, mm-hmm. I want a bookie. A bookie? A bookie? <laughs> I want a bestie. Not and the so, for some reason, I saw that Sav was in town, but she was like on my mind. And she was on my mind. She was what on her mind. She was thinking about me, dreaming about I me, sure kicking that? her feet. Yes, I was, girly. <laughs> so, she was on my mind. I saw that she was in California because her family lives here. Mm-hmm. It was I was a here t- a lot. Yeah. It was New Year's yes, time. Yes. Let's paint the picture. Let's paint. Close your eyes. Let's put ourselves in this moment, okay? <laughs> it's Christmas time, about to be New yes, Year's. I see she's in California, and I'm like, hmm, why do I want to scheme? Why do I want to go undercover a little bit and do some insider work? So I was like, let me hit her up. Like, I was like, I really want her to live with me. Like, we're not that close. We're not yeah. like that. Yeah, like, we haven't talked in a while. A minute, but yeah. For some reason, I was like, I've been thinking about this girl. I don't, I don't even know. She's going to get me off her mind is what she's saying. Yes. So, so I, I think I DM'd her because I don't even think we really had each other's numbers. No. We might you just have. left Texas and that was it. Oh, she yeah. She didn't say bye to nobody. She just left. I didn't tell a soul. I didn't tell a soul. But anyways. <laughs> <clears throat> so I think I DM'd her and I was like, 
hey girl i don't know she hey girlied me through the dm hey girl is scary (laughs) but she was like hey what are you doing for new year's yeah wait that's crazy right she was like it was actually it was so crazy and spooky she was like come to my family's house we're throwing a new year's party and i was like Wait, that's Boom. wild. I was like, I didn't even have to shoot my shot. She sh- she shot it. I read her mind. I was she, thinking about we her were too. In the, w- exactly. So I was like, this is in the bag. Yeah. I go to her, f- like, I'm not even kidding. <laughs> my crazy. whole motive of going to her party was I'm convincing this woman to move from Texas to California, period. That is my whole motive. Yeah. I don't care about New Year's. I don't care about wishes. I don't care about nothing. I am there. <laughs> she didn't care about no kisses, nothing. No, uh uh, not a singular thing. I'm there for one thing, convince you to move. Not kidding. Not kidding. I go there and I did not even have to say anything, Sister King. Nope, no. Nope. She brought it up. Yes, I did. She said something, but then even she was like, yeah, my mom was talking about like, what if I like, or like moving in with you in your apartment. And I was like, you're actually kidding i took the words right out of her mouth basically i was like sav you do not even understand i came here for that and that only and she didn't have to say nothing i was already like i'm i'm there no convincing nothing the whole night new year's eve we were scheming on how to for how to get me here scheming we computer computer plan (laughs) texting everybody i know looking for jobs on new year's we were looking for jobs before midnight Mm -hmm. everything the whole nine no it was actually so crazy i literally didn't have to do a singular thing she did it for me it was like divine favor it It really was was, though i'm not even gonna lie it was all jesus the man upstairs knew what he was doing (laughs) because it, it was so effortless so easy like nothing was nothing was hard about it yeah and so ever since then she moved in and Mm -hmm. we are now besties yes we are now living our best lives yeah inseparable yes we do everything together we do but yeah that that's so crazy to think about because it's been over a year and i remember being in that time and i was like i came home for christmas and i was like i want to move home but in my mind i was like i can't there's like there was a block like i was like there's no way i can move home like it just didn't it didn't make sense to me but i knew i was like i'm tired of dallas like i just feel like i was stuck there no shade to dallas loved my time there but I was very stuck and there was no growth for me. And in my mind, I was like, this cannot be it. Like, there has to be more than this. Yeah. And the Lord knew because there surely was. There, there surely, surely was. was. <laughs> that was so crazy. I know. I, it's, it literally, it didn't even, it was way too Way smooth. too easy. It was way too seamless. Way too, way too seamless. I way too not. seamless. <laughs> but honestly, since moving in with Ari, even though we have a huge age gap, I feel like I've learned so much from her. Aww. And every time, like, there's been a couple of people who are like, you're 23, you're 30. Like, why are you guys hanging out? That's really weird. No one's weird but you, honey. Okay? Because I've learned so much from her. And I know she learned something from me. No, for real. But. Well, it's it's crazy because we have the same kind of mindset. Yeah. We're very much go-getters. Mm-hmm. We're very much, like, just. If I feel like if we didn't have the same, I said it would be like really there would weird. be such a disconnect. I feel yeah, but we motivate each other so much. I mm-hmm. feel like I think so too. And that's like the girl friendships that you make are very, they're important. Yeah, because you can be around people that don't want to see you grow, don't yeah. want to see your that's potential, mm-hmm. or you could be around people that want to see that and motivate you to be the best you can be. And honestly, Ari is a girl's girl through and through because. She obviously, we all know she's a social media icon. She's the queen. She's mother. Everyone (laughs) knows the names, okay? (laughs) But I've always wanted to like, just like post on TikTok, you know, here and there, Instagram. But I, one, I am not tech savvy at all. Hello. I felt like a grandma trying to like, how do I use this? How do I cut this? But I would told Ari, even before I moved in with her, I was like, I want to like do TikTok. And she's like, you should do this. You should do that. But I tell you, I like could not do it in my mind I was like I'm gonna be so embarrassing on the internet no one wants to see me but moving in with her seeing her social media career take off her encouraging me to do it I was like I think I can do this and honestly I would come to her and be like does this look stupid she's like it doesn't look stupid like at all so she's just motivated me in that sense to just get out of my head and be confident in who I am because no one's thinking about it no Mm -hmm. one's like you look stupid you look dumb and if they are like oh well not everyone's gonna like you so they're probably My haters wishing that they could do that, but they don't have the courage to do it. Yeah. And honestly, like it's, it's just the internet, you know, yeah. like it's not, it's, it's not that crazy big of a deal guys. So no. 
Yeah, I'm I'm like trying to get her. Well, she, she is. You're mm-hmm. very much in the social media. I've been trying, girls. I've been trying. Now, but I very much encur- encouraging her yeah. because she'd be inspiring and all. Like, I'm like, the people can look up to you, Sister King. Thanks, Why am I saying guys. Sister King? That's I know. Like a new thing. I'm a sister or a king. I'm Which like one? saying girl. <laughs> I'm both. I'm a queen. I'm that's a queen. the thing about me is I will come up with a new saying like every week. Oh my gosh. Okay. And Darty? Darty is normal. Is Darty normal? Because when she said Darty, it was like, she's like, I want to, what did you say? Like, I want a Darty. Like, I just want a day party. And I was like, girl, what? Some of the things that I, some of the, okay, that's the difference <laughs> in Texas and California. Yeah. I'll be saying some things. And she's like, I said hodgepodge yesterday. And she really was like, what? And I was like, oopsies. Hodgepodge. I've never heard of that in my life. This, I, maybe it's just me. <laughs> maybe it's her because she'd be making maybe up all these me. words. Yeah, maybe it's me. Hodgepodge. I've never heard that. Um, ever. But speaking of the social media life. Oh, yeah. It is actually, when you think about my life a year ago, two years ago, mm-hmm. even a couple months ago, now it's crazy. The so things that wild. like we. You're, you're getting introduced into the LA lifestyle, the yeah. LA social media crowd. And you do things like I, I go to a lot of events and I bring her. Thank and the Lord she takes me. It is such a crazy Girl. experience. Like you I see, can't. we went to this one party mm-hmm. and you, I'm not kidding. Every soul that you saw. You do a 360 around the room. Every single one that you saw was someone you see on your FYP. Absolutely. And when you're like, when you see all that, we couldn't even be like, oh my God, look at it. Like, look who no. that is. Because everyone was that way. We were Everybody. really just like, kind of like standing there like, this is surreal. It it's was unreal. Yeah. It felt like it. we were in a movie mm-hmm. and it's just, it was like the craziest thing. Now, and I, we're, I'm used to it now. I feel yeah. like we're used to it. We see it all the time. Yeah. But like. The first, what was the first party one too? We walk in. I have imposter syndrome. I should not be there. I don't have any followers on TikTok. Like, I barely had posted at the time. And I walk in and I'm like, I, I just saw you. Like, I just saw, like, exactly. everybody on my For You page, Instagram, TikTok. And they're massive. Huge. So I'm like, I felt like I should not be in here. Oh, my gosh. But it was it was the craziest thing. But now, like you said, that we've been to a couple events where it's like, they're just people and you know, some no, people are really, really nice. But and that's what, that's what the crazy thing was for me was that I was like, Oh my word. I see all these people. I look up to some of these people. Yeah. I, I just see people doing like all these things on TikTok, and it's like when you see them in person, when you're surrounded by all yeah. that, it's like you real really realize how much people are literally just people. Yeah. Like famous that's so people, true. famous people are just like people. And that sounds so dumb, but it's like, I can't even explain it because we've been to so many yeah. events now. We see so many influ- huge influencers yeah. and you're just like, you kind of lose the magic. You kind of mm-hmm. lose the spark because you realize like they're just, they're just people, they're people just like us. Yeah. Like literally, literally. Yeah. It's and crazy. And some of them are really nice. Yeah. Some of them, I don't think I've encountered a rude one yet. Yeah. I feel Have like, you? I don't go up to people. See, one oh. thing about me is I'm a little shy girl. <laughs> I, Not me. I'd be marching my way up she to does, you. She does, and that's why I love bringing her around because she will befriend anyone. She'll s- keep the conversation going. I'm a she talker. She starts a conversation, a she keeps it going, and she won't end it. The other person has to end it because yeah. she I'm loves like, to talk. Okay. So I love to bring her because yeah. we make connections. We do. When I bring her because she will talk. But Like the, mm-hmm. uh, was it the rudest event? We met those... Uh, People, hairstylist. the hairstylists. Oh my gosh, they were so incredibly nice. We <laughs> talked to them all night. I feel like we just have to make a friend at one, and then like, yeah, we're good. It's kind of hard to talk to some people at those spots though, because it's like there can be so many people, and I don't really know anybody. So yeah. I just like find one person. I'm like, okay, let me talk with them, and then we'll stick with them the rest of the night. Sorry, it's you're stuck with crazy. us. Crazy. I mean, like that night of the White Fox event. Oh, we. Yeah. It's so funny because. Tyga was performing, and then Meg, Megan, Megan the Stallion. Meg, I'm like Megan the Stallion. I don't even know. She's a stallion. She Meg, right? <laughs> Meg? We can call her Meg because we kind of know. I her. don't know her name. She was performing later, and like we were looking around. See, I want to drop names. Can I drop? Drop names, girl. Looking around, seeing Tana. Looking over there, seeing David. Seeing like Patrick Ta looked me in the eyes, and well, I was like, remember? Oh, staring at me all night. There was. <laughs> I'm gonna say his name staring at Ari and I was like we're gonna bleep that 
I just saw you on my for yeah. you page, honey. And but it's so funny. You could tell like that was like one of our first events because I was like, I gotta get home. I have Kosas tomorrow. Yeah, I had, like a shoot for Kosas. So we literally left early. Like that's crazy. But Y Fox, I feel like is for I mean, okay, I don't again know nothing, but I felt like that was the event of the year. It really in does. like the influencer world because I'm not even kidding you. Every single one of them was there. Yeah. So that was we fun. asked someone to take our photo on the pink carpet, and he was like massive very good looking and i was like i know this guy is so famous but i just like that was the one person like i was like i don't know i felt like he was probably like a football player did you feel like that girl i he was beautiful i was like i know this guy is like so famous but we're just like here take a photo photo." and he was like get he was he didn't get it but but he was like yes yes and i'm like this is so crazy for the most part everybody was really nice there so yeah we met a good friend there dabs we love her yes that's crazy. Speaking of that, oh, you gotta tell them <laughs> Billie Eilish. Okay, hold the phone. I got on Instagram yesterday. Wait, I follow Billie Eilish, I'm right? I'm sorry, this is the funniest story ever. Okay, keep going. I follow Billie Eilish, and she has a story up, right? A little green circle, and I was like, hmm, wait, what? <laughs> so I click on it, and you know what a green circle means on Instagram? <laughs> Close friends. So I was like, wait, oh, wait a minute. So I click on it, and... Billie Eilish put me on her close friends list. Or so I thought. No, she, no, no, so no. I she thought. looked at me and she was like, <laughs> we were in the car. And she was like, Ari, there's no way Billie Eilish put me on her close friends. And I was like, what? Because I don't follow Billie Eilish. I look at her thing and it's like this like tattoo like on her she stomach. She was showing us giving like a tattoo tramp, on her panza. Yeah. A tramp stamp moment. And um, I was like, stop. Mm-hmm. wait that's a green circle yes and she was like we literally in the car for like two minutes straight we were like billy eilish accidentally tried to add one of her friends named savannah and she mm-hmm. accidentally added you this is crazy you cannot heart any one of her stories Man. you can't slide up you can't do anything because if she sees that you do it she will take you off her close friends and then i will i was like i can't this is like the story of the year i know she was sending it to her sisters we were like oh I my word screenshot in it like we literally like we're I'll, gonna save it for the podcast we're gonna tell everyone like i thought i was so special to be put on <laughs> billy eilish's close friends i even went to her instagram and i was like wait does she follow me oh my no, gosh and then and then Please. i was like Oh, we're even gonna bleep her name so that she won't take you off the close friends. Like, we need to get the I insider. Need to stay suit. on, yeah, yeah. And then, and then. unbeknownst to me, mm-hmm. there was an article that came out. How how much longer? Uh, like what? Thirty minutes? Thirty minutes later? Yep. Thirty. I was still basking in like, oh my gosh, I'm on Billy Eilish's close friends. She sure was. There's an article that came out. There is. She put all of her the people who follow her every single one on her close friends. When I tell you I was crushed, the way crushed. that that was literally such a funny, that was so funny. I could not stop laughing. And I, I was just, like, oh I God. just thought it was so funny that we literally, we fully were convinced this woman accidentally put Savannah Marie yeah. on her close friends. And I was like, I felt so special. I was, we were <laughs> shaking in our boots. That was like the highlight of yesterday. and It really was. I still have the screenshots just in case anyone wants to be like, you weren't on it. I, <laughs> I have receipts, honey. Receipts, timeline, really everything right in here. Don't accidentally add stuff to your close friends because she will keep the receipts. I will. I, but add me, okay? I want to see what y'all, get, what y'all get in into, okay? Yeah, same, honestly. Speaking of artists, Coachella is next weekend. Coachella is. <sighs> I'm not going. I'm so sad. Yeah, see, here's the thing. Never been before, Mm-mm. so I can't Mm-mm. really speak on this, but yeah. let me do one thing and speak on it. Oh, okay. If I'm going to do one thing, I'm going to speak on something that I have no knowledge <laughs> in. <laughs> but let, let's hear your take on it. Now, here's the thing. Here is the thing. Sister right here, she, I literally just got chills <laughs> because scared. of how I am a claustrophobic girl. Yeah. Crazy. True. The thoughts... The thoughts. They were trying to sell... Her and her friends were trying to sell me on... Her and our friends. Her friends. I was like, crazy. wait. I'm sorry, guys. Our friends and her were trying to convince me to go. And they were trying to sell me. And they were like, yeah, yeah we all just like get a tent and we put it behind our cars and we all <laughs> sleep in the same room and you're just sweating and you're dripping and you don't even need covers because you're hot and everyone's sleeping on an air mattress. Then you get up and you go and you... You go and take a shower, you wait two hours, and then they, like, tell you five minutes, like, jail. That was one time. (laughs) In the shower, and if you ever want to take a potty break. Squat in the porta-potties. 
do that or go to the nearest grocery store, which will take you an hour. Mm. Then you can never take. So. You can never get out of the heat. And then you go, you do your makeup outside. It's, by the time you're done, it's already sweating off. Then you go see Lana Del Rey. And it's so fun. And at night, like, finally you get the cold air and then, like, whatever. And you're I'm living like, your life the oopsies, best. Oopsies. Oopsies. You just made me never, ever, ever want to go, sister. I'm having FOMO now thinking about that, honestly. See, but let that's me, the difference in us. Uh, let me tell that's you. hell. I was going to be honest with her about Coachella because I had brought a friend once. And I, like, I always should have prepped people. Hey, you know, I th- you, you think it's one way, but also, like, it's, it's hard. You know, you're camping. She's I have no real. issue camping. I was a Girl Scout. Troop 595, okay? <gasps> I'm sick. And uh, I know how to camp. I can stand the heat. Like, I'm not, I'm not a complainer. I can get through it, right? But I had to let her know because I know she's claustrophobic. The heat. Last year, I'm not even going to lie. I thought I was going to pass off from a heat stroke. But Oops. We, and last year was different. We only had two camping spots. I think this year they have nine. Um, but honestly... Coachella is so much fun. I feel like everybody needs to go. And while you're in the heat, while you're sleeping on an air mattress, I had a good air mattress last year, so I was sleeping well. Besides the heat and everything, it's so much fun because like you wake up with the, all your best friends. All my best friends are going. And you wake up. One of them cooks you breakfast. Jazzy always be on the grill cooking it up, serving us breakfast. Yeah. And... Then we just start playing games. You get ready later. And you meet, like, it's so much fun. Like, you wake up and you just, like, on day zero, you camp and you, like, set up camp and you meet all of the people around you. And then, okay, it is hot. You're walking in and it is super hot. Sometimes it's a walk to get in. But when you're out there at night listening to your favorite artists with your best friends, like, nothing beats that. I'm sorry. In the desert. Here's my thing. I I have to go now. I can do it if I have... One tent, and it's just, like, me and you or someone. Yeah. Maybe I me, mean, you, and that. Surge. Yeah. Like, or, like, it just, I need there to be, I'm a little bit of a No, diva. I get it. I need a little bit of air. She wants the glamp. I really do. You and can get VIP and glamp, but. Yeah, see, I would do that. I think but Gilly's I don't doing that this year. I don't really care too much about the artist this year, unless a brand wants to send me. Send I'm there. us. I am there in a second. I need her us. to go to Coachella because I feel like every- something. <laughs> some of the parties are Be in excited. the works. Excited! <laughs> I'm getting some of the parties are in the works. We might be oh, going yeah. to some of those, but Coachella itself, as of this year, I'm out. I'm out. Unfortunately, she. I'm gonna get her to go one year. Yeah. It is a lot. I'll say that, like you know, if you're claustrophobic or anything. But at the end of the day, it's about the memories. You only live once. I promise you, every single memory would be that. Oh, I can't breathe. That would be my memory. I'm a. I'm a. Leave Coachella. One to me, time. Honey. One. This is gonna really like send home my claustrophobia. One time, I was walking to a mall. Don't know why. Couldn't tell you. Just oh. really wanted to get outside. And I was like, let me, uh, hold on, let me walk. Yeah. That was my first mistake. Um, walked to this mall, not summer. It was actually pretty much winter. Yeah. But it was so far. And I was like, <laughs> was it though? <laughs> no, hold on. <laughs> By the time, I'm like, let me go get a book. Oh, I'm such a studious wow, girl. Wow. She was really in I was here. like, let me go to Barnes. Nancy Drew era. Uh, let me go to Barnes and Noble and let me get a book. So I go there and I'm like, oh, I'm kind of hot. I get into Barnes and Noble. They had the air off or something because I step in <laughs> and I'm like, oh my God, wait, I can't escape the heat. I thought I was going to get into Barnes and Noble and I can, I can start breathing. Like I can like let loose a little, yeah. like I can have air and it was hotter inside Barnes and Noble than yeah. when you went outside. Oh no. And I called up this girl right here. She called and me I up. Said, hey, I am in a grocery store right now trying to get water and maybe some food. Cause I'm in a panic. Um, yeah. I need you to come pick me up. I was like, I, I would Uber, but they're going to take too long. And I'm having a panic attack. I need you to come yeah. here right now. Mm-hmm. And I need you to pick me up. And she said, of course, which she's the best friend ever. On my way. But that is, and once I'm in a panic, you, there's not much I could do unless I have, I went and I tried to get like the coldest thing I could find to put on my skin because yeah. that's what I have to do. But if I don't have ice or a freezer, there's not much you can do. Honestly, that's true though. That's very true. So. You showed me that ice does help. Yeah. I don't know why. It just like brings you... Because you can't... Bring your levels down. Yeah, you can't... Your brain, it's weird. It can't think about panicking and also something that's super cold at the same time. So it focuses on the cold. That's wild. You learned something new on this podcast, guys. 
Tune in every, every week. Yeah, tune in every week. We're going to hit you with those facts. We're going to hit you with the facts. And They'll that, probably be false. But yeah. Look it up something. after. We ain't Google. Okay. Uh-uh. Don't be quoting us on we this sure now. We sure what. Uh-uh. <laughs> that's crazy, though. But I didn't yeah. know that. Wait. So that's my... Clutchphobia is my biggest fear. What is yours? I need to know. Girl, you already know. Spiders. Spiders to the death of me. Will be the death. <gasps> oh, I can't say that. They will not be the death of me. But no. I just like... No. She, I no. have never. Okay, so one time, like looking at the room, she called me. She was like, I can't go to bed. I was at Brandon Melville. She's like, I need you to come home. I don't know why you thought that I could do anything about it. Because who was I going to call? Well, she really thought I was going to come home and kill the spider. Mm-hmm. One thing about Fully. me is I cannot kill bugs. But that was the first time I realized that you couldn't. Yeah. And then I realized we're, we're in deep trouble. We are. So I came home. She literally stayed up till I got home at like 10 30 p.m. She's I stayed up for two in hours. In her bonnet and her robe, too. One thing about me, I'd be wearing a bonnet, okay? She tells me, like, she's like, Ari. And I'm like, I, I'm, I'm thinking something bad happened. I'm like, I've never heard her voice tremble like that. I've never yeah. heard her be very much like, Ari, come help me. Yeah. Something's wrong. And I'm like, oh, my God, something's wrong. It was not bad. So I come, and she's like, there's a spider. And I'm like, you really waited for me to come home to kill this thing? She's like, yeah. And I'm like, uh-huh. can't do it. Fully. Then the spider moves or something. The oh my gosh. most terrible scream I've ever heard in my life. I've never heard someone scream like that ever. The pitch she hit, the the, <laughs> the loudness. Pitch. I really was like, our neighbors are going to come knocking. They're going to be like, did mm. someone die? Yeah. Did someone get stabbed? Did I could someone... have. I could have. It was this craziest thing. I've never experienced something like that. I, I'm petrified of spiders. Like, if there's a spider in this room and it's not killed, I will not sleep in here. The spider can have the room because I'm moving in with you. She Unless knew. and then oh my god they're so aggressive I just can't get into so it. So what if there's a spider at Coachella? Like what if there's one like creeping on your little your little sleeping bag? Oh, uh uh-uh. uh, we turning that upside down, flipping it. What if we are exterminating well, if, the like, tent? The area you stayed in was spider infested. Would no, you stay there no. or would you go home? I would. Sorry, friends, I'm catching an Uber home. Five hundred dollars. Well, I bet ticket. you my friends they love me so much they would just kill the spider. Like, well, I know like, if there was a spider in You went in, in like, a little hill of them. Because you, I would be calling Coachella directly and being like, give me my, give me my money back. This is spider invest, invested. Infested. Invested. Well, spiders were invested into Coachella. <laughs> um, no. I'm sorry. I'd pack it and go home. Because one thing, I, I don't, I can't. That is my biggest fear. You ever watch Fear Factor when you were younger? Yes. <gasps> Ugh, when they had to, like, stick their hands in, like, a spider. I couldn't. Or, like, I would eat them? fully go. I would go home. Would Don't you eat a live bug? No, I would never. I, when Wait, I have I eaten one? Maybe in Mexico. I, I ate a caterpillar in Africa. What did it taste like? Was it? You don't like crunch, though. No, I love crunch. I just don't like crunches of bones. Whose bones are you crunching? Apparently the caterpillars. <laughs> That's disgusting. They, no, well, they, it was a whole thing. They tried to convince me for like 20 minutes. I finally did it. We had the whole school and people, everyone looking at me, filmed it, ate it. It was and fine. Was it? I, I'm actually shocked. Was it good? I what don't it really taste like? remember. You blacked out, huh? Yeah, sure did. That same trip, another bone moment happened to me. Bone moment. Uh uh-uh, uh. What a bone. story. I just have to tell this really quick. I was on a seesaw and it was one of the ones. A seesaw? It's not the new ones. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's not the new ones where you can't stick your fingers in them. It was the old ones. Ooh. Wooden, no, whatever. No. Mm, what I decided to do, we were at a school. <laughs> Do you need to stop? Yeah. Okay. One second. Okay, so it was one of those seesaws where it was made in like. 1970 okay like the wooden aluminum or the aluminum ones when you move okay but like gets the job done heavy duty you know things back then were made to last things now breaking a heartbeat break in two seconds coming for you apple anyways (laughs) um so on one side there was like a little thing of like seven kids okay on another side there was a thing of like 12 okay i decided to sit sit on in the middle. Okay. I just sat in the middle. So they were going up, down, up, down. Put my finger in right here. They Aww. went down and I <gasps> screamed bloody murder. And I held my finger like this for like an hour straight. Everyone was like, let me see your finger. I was like, I, it's either not on my hand. It's not attached to my hand or it's Girl. completely broken. I couldn't feel anything, obviously. The adrenaline was kicking in. So, yeah, I held my finger for so long. Finally, I uncovered it oh to reveal gosh. that it was not broken or r- removed. Taken, uh, removed. It was just the size of a golf ball, and no, that was about no. it. So, yeah, 
it all wraps together. The yeah. fear of bones, squishing the bugs, crushing their bones, even though they probably have none. Um, I'm just a little, I'm a little crazy. She's traumatized. Yeah. Sorry, guys. We had to take an intermission. I work from home, so you know I had to hop on the laptop real quick. Yeah. So that get little, a few things that done. That little cut was because she had to do some work. She had to get away with business. One thing about us is we're gonna be standing, standing on, on business. business all year long. Stand, standing. Standing. Business. <laughs> Stand. No, she's not doing it. Standing, standing on, on business. business. Oh, Thank that's you. what you were trying to do. Standing, standing on, on business. business. Okay, okay. Anyways. Yeah, thankfully I work from home. I'm able to like just walk away. But let me tell you about a time when I didn't work from home. What? I quit corporate because I quit corporate for a number of reasons. But let me tell you the number one reason. I'm ready. So I used to work in the office, like a little corporate girly, whatever. I used to get all cute and go in the office, right? Oh my gosh, I'm cringing. Wait, what? I think this was my breaking point because I was already at a point where like, I did not like corporate. I just was like, I can't do this anymore. It was not me. I was rotting away in the office. So I went to the bathroom, right? Blah, blah, blah. Walking to the bathroom, the hallways, oh, down the cubicles. You told me this. Mm, I'm scared. Walking to the cubicles or walking past the cubicles to the bathroom. Um, I'm leaving the bathroom, right? And like, mm -hmm. I had a, I had like a long shirt on and oh my gosh, I, it was like tucked in my pants right here. So I like, <laughs> <laughs> so I, um, take it out of my pants because what, what's it doing back there? Right. It's supposed to be covering. Anyway, I do that and I keep walking, not thinking nothing, whatever. The office is so quiet. I turn around because someone's like, Hey, hey, you dropped this. Not, not like, just someone, a male. A male. Uh, what age? Paint he the was like 45. 45, what does he look like? He was mid height, Hispanic. Okay. But let me tell you. Tell us. He's like, hey, hey. And I'm like, what? Like, what? Why would anybody be calling me? I was new there. I'd been there a couple weeks. And I turn around, he's like, you dropped this. He's bending down to pick it up. My eyes look, look, and see what's on the floor. Girls, it's my green chonies. Green. On. They were lime green. Sometimes I like to, I like colorful, so whatever. I. No, me too. And I don't eat, I'm watching him reach down to pick up my chonies. And he's like, here you go. I'm mortified for a number of reasons. And I don't even look at him in the eye. He's like, Can you drop some. I grab them and walk away I in front of the whole office. The whole office. And let me tell you another thing. My dad used to work at that company. He knows my father. He knows my dad. I have questions. Do you think that the man knew that it was chonies? Or do you think he was just like, you dropped something. I'm going to pick it up for you. No, he knew, fully knew they were chonies. Were they lace? No. But you can tell, like, it, it wasn't like a G-string, but it was a, it was a thong. Oh, so you saw the outline. You could see it fully. Oh, he like, fully picked up your undies. It, and was like handed them to me you, he you made his day no i was i literally was like i need to go home right now like i need to pack it up and go home and honestly i quit that was one of the reasons i quit i honestly i would be so traumatized did you ever see him ever again i threw that? those underwear away because <gasps> he touched them well that and because they're bad luck <laughs> absolutely they're gonna haunt me every time i put them on i'm gonna be like <gasps> those dropped in the office midday 2 p.m and said man picked it up said who knows man. my father picked so him. I threw them away, and you know why they were in there? Because I was doing laundry, and I didn't shake at out least, the shirt. At least they were clean. Absolutely. I'm a clean queen. You know what that reminds me of, though? What? This happened to me recently. I'm scared. On my birthday. <gasps> oh, and it was on my birthday. Um, so yep. we go to brunch. I'm wearing micro shorts. That's the thing to That's wear right thing now. That's the thing, too. The, yeah. yeah. Micro shorts and backless shirt. So I'm really wearing nothing. I'm wearing a whole lot of nothing. She's so, wearing like the gowns at the hospital where it covers your front and not the back. And not the back, Sister Kings. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, so I'm sitting down. We're sitting at a little like um, a table. Yeah. Backless, backless chairs. It yeah. was giving bench. It was a bench, yeah. <laughs> it was a bench. It was a bench. So I'm I was sitting. sitting down and I just, I'm like, I'm a little chilly chill. So I'm like reaching back in the back. I don't know. I'm just like making sure I'm all good. Mm. She was not good. One thing I wasn't was good. No. I quickly understood that. Let me give you a little vis. So here are my shorts, okay? <laughs> Undies were up here. 
So it was giving Huerta. And guess what color these Ooh. undies were? Cheetah? Cheetah print. <gasps> Cheetah print undies. On display for the world to see. On display for Malibu Farms to see. Miss Ariella Simons. It seems that everyone in OC has seen our chonies from yes. these stories. So I'm mortified. I, I truly thought they were going to be like, you're not allowed back. <laughs> What are you doing showing your chonies at a family place like this? Exactly. And there were Uh -uh. people behind us. And I was just like, you know when you're so embarrassed (laughs) that you just cannot even be embarrassed because if you if you (laughs) let yourself be embarrassed, you'll just start crying. Yeah. And you'll be like so in fear and you'll start running away. I was like, I'm not even embarrassed. I'm not even embarrassed. I'm so embarrassed, I'm not embarrassed, I'm not even gonna talk about it. And I was like, let's get the check. We should get the check. Yeah. Let's go home. And we went home. So we have sort of bad luck with some chonies. But also, like, they're betraying us because they, it, they should not be doing that to us. Well, I shouldn't be shouldn't. wearing that, honestly. Oh, well, that, yeah. But me in the office? Come on. I'm just I'm just a girl out here trying to work, get her back. I'm just a girl. One thing about us is we're just, we're we're just, girls. just girls. We can't be bothered with things like that. We cannot. We're doing our laundry. We're doing everything right. Oh. Yeah. Anyway, I want to talk to you about something. What? You're scaring me. Ari's been going on a couple dates okay, here so and there. I have. We both have been, been going on dates. Been, we've been collectively. Yeah, we've been just doing some dating. What? Yeah. We're young. Yeah. I know, which I love that for her because 23, and I always tell her, like, if I knew anything at 23, just do everything. Don't be worried or stressed about the little things in life. Because when I look back, I worried about this, that, and the other, and this person and this person. None of that mattered. So yeah. I'm always telling her, date, do everything you want now because it's not going to matter. And she really like helped me understand like that. And yeah. I love that. Like she's, she always says to me, like, I wish I could tell myself yeah. at 23, like the knowledge that you have now. And yeah. I'm like, I love when you tell me everything. She really like woke me up. Cause I feel like I was just very much straight to the punch. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. did work, did my thing very like just that was my thing. Yeah. And like, I didn't have any social life, if you will. She wasn't getting out. She was being inside. Yeah. I mean, I just didn't care about like having fun. I cared about routine. I cared about doing my goals. I cared about being successful. I cared about all yeah. that stuff. And you lose like the fun part of life. Like, and all, yeah, exactly. all of that's good, but it is, but like, that's not what life is for. Life no. is not meant to have, you're not supposed to just like think about money constantly, think Uh about a good job, do all that and not have any fun and not make connections and see the world and see nature and like, yeah, find love and stuff like that. And so you're in your prime, you're 23 in your prime. Like you're in such a good place in your life, in your career. Like have a little fun girl. Let loose a little. You help me see that girl. I love that though. But yes, we have been going on dates. Dates, A lot of first dates. A lot of first dates. How do you feel about first dates? Um, Typically, I'm not a huge fan. I don't date a lot. So if I do agree to go on a date, um, most of the time I'm extremely nervous and yeah. I feel like I can't be myself. Yeah. Um, this past first date I went on, though, I was I was locked and loaded, confident, walking in there. Yeah. I felt like I could be myself. Yeah. But I feel like I was at a place in my life where when the date came around like I wasn't looking for it yeah and I was also just like I was doing my own thing I was wrapped oh, up in like so that my, makes sense in my business and I wasn't thinking about dating at all and so we had been talking for a minute um so when I went out with him I was I was just very confident in yeah. who I was and also it's like took me a long time to get to that point it was a lot of growth because I had been through some stuff like who hasn't you know and so when I got to that point it felt really nice to just be confident in myself and who I am. And I feel like that made it easier. Like it made it very seamless and easy just yeah. to, just to have fun. So I love that. It, yeah, was, it no. was a good date. First dates are not, <laughs> not no. fun. I used to literally hate them. So yeah. I wouldn't go on them. Um, I don't mind them too, too much now. I kind of like, like it. I feel like you're good at them. I, I feel know. Like you're good at I first feel dates. Like but, like, I can't just, like, go on a first date if I don't really know you. Like, I need to, like, have yeah. that connection before. Like, we need to be talking no, on the phone before. No, absolutely. That's what helped, too, yeah. I think. But um, I am nervous. And one of the things that happens when I'm nervous is I sweat. Oh, I really fully agree. Fully agree. Like, I don't, uh, like. I'll no have, smell. No smell. Like, but my armpits, they be sweating. I will just, have like, a, nervous. if I'm going on a first date with anyone, I will have a pit stain. So I either don't wear a tight, those little tight long sleeves. Especially or, gray. You cannot that's what wear I was gonna gray. Say. Oh my gosh. Or I'll wear chiquita. chiquita. Because there is, there is, and it's not even like, it's not even like 
I don't know. I just like, I always sweat and I'm nervous. I mean, me too. I, I, I'm the same way. I have to bring like perfume and like deodorant in the car at all times. I feel like just in case, like I get nervous and I feel like it can just come out of anywhere. But first aid especially. Yeah. Do you Keep it if, locked and loaded? So you you said you bring your perfume in the car. Mm-hmm. Do you spray your perfume in the car when you're in the car with him? No, I with someone spray it when I and then I get out. You know what I'm saying? Like so, you don't spray it in the car. Yeah, I spray it in the car, but no one's in the car but me. Oh, it's okay, just no me, myself, and I. I was no. gonna say like, I don't. I think- never do that because I feel like I'm, um, the reaction is always. <laughs> God, why'd you spray that? The drama. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, but I've never, no. Okay. No one's in the car. It's just me. And I'm like, before I get out, spritz, 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 spritz. I spray a lot. Yeah. And then spritz, spritz. Speaking there of we go. dates, Demon. we have been in our double date era. Well, not anymore. We no. we, we had a previous lice. lice. <laughs> we had previous we had lice. lice previously. Yeah. Um, I sure did. I've had it before. Forever. Anyways. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> And in, pre- in our previous life, what is that? Was I trying? I don't know what I was last trying to say. year is what she's trying to say. Last year, the twenty twenty three year, we were in a double dating era because I don't know, honestly. It wasn't like it just happened. It happened for a brief moment. It happened, and honestly, do not recommend. I don't personally recommend the double date life. I don't. I disagree with that, though. Why? Because I feel like. Okay, just because it doesn't that double date time didn't work out for the the two three week span that it was, I feel like that's not every experience. That you is, know, that's very true. And yeah, I think I am a little traumatized by that no, yeah. specific moment. But I think one of the double I'm like one of the double dates we went on. It was more like we were we were trying to be more of like a group friendship than it was. Yeah. We were trying to keep the group alive. The group was dead. And the individual connections with the individual people were not thriving in any way because we were trying to be this like group. That's why I don't recommend it because it was like more of like trying to hang out with my bestie, but also my bookie and stuff like that. But if it's like, but I feel like now, okay. If you brought someone along with me in minds, I think it'd be easier that way. That way it's like you already, you and I already have a connection. Yeah. But then, because we did, we did that recently and I just feel like then it's just you guys talking, us talking. It's not even like a double. I feel like we did kind of ditch y'all all all, like kind of talk and you're like getting, I don't know, you talk and stuff like that. So in that case, it's just, you're just tagging along. Oh, so like double dates, we haven't really had a, okay. I can't speak on that one because we did ditch you guys. So um, you didn't ditch us. We, y'all were, we were just, ta- y'all were talking. It was we just, talking. it wasn't like a group date. Okay. I get yeah. what you're saying. I get what you're So saying. I don't feel like we've had like prop. I don't feel like the double dates we've been on have been successful in any way. We, can, we need to change that for you. We need to for change me, that for you. For, uh, for us. For us. Well, I feel like, well, yeah, I guess. Fake friend alert. I don't have an issue with double dates though. So like I feel like I just think differently. No, I don't on it. either. I'm just saying we haven't <laughs> we haven't had success. We will be successful, but I promise also, you. Okay. Also, I just haven't found a buki where it we will go on double dates, you know. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cuz cuz I I don't know, we can't be saying too much. What? I've been wanting to say like you're more in a relationship right now. I'm dating someone, yes. Yeah. <clears throat> and so when we did all go out, like... You I, weren't dating the I other guy. Not, I was not at all. And you guys... I didn't even know it was a double date. I thought we were all friends. <laughs> Me going in Oops. there blind. Hi, Oops. friend. Hi, friend. She's, She's like... Hey. He's like, so what's your love language? I'm like, hold on. I don't know you. I'm like, I can tell you her lang- lang- language. Well, I can't even talk. What is my love language? Ooh, this is a good topic. Uh, quality time. My number one? No. That's not my number one. It's not physical. It's physical touch. <gasps> I'm sick to my Do I not know her love That's language? That's my last one. That's the one I hate. Oh, wait. Actually, you do. Uh, as I touch you. <laughs> I think I'm learning to love it. But I'm like, I touch you. No, okay, okay <laughs> girl. Um, words of affirmation. Yeah. Words of affirmation. I knew it. Mm-hmm. Words of affirmation. Wait, I know yours. Tell me. Quality time. Yep, that's one of them. That's your number one, right? No. <gasps> Oopsies. I have two number ones, though, so that's one. I, I can ha- What's the, think. Is it words of affirmation? No. 
Well, that's one. That's like my second one, but I have two number Is it ones. Physical touch? Yes. With a guy, absolutely. With my friends, not so much. Don't touch me, girl. Here's the thing. I'm just kidding. Here's the thing. That's interesting. I didn't know that. Yeah, with a guy, like I, I'm like physical touch. When we're out, like, claim me, you know. Yeah. I she like said that. I didn't like that. <laughs> but you know what I mean. Yeah. Like okay, for me, it's like physical touch and quality time and then it's like words of affirmation actually i have three all three of those are number one so sorry What's your least favorite gifts yeah i gifts like giving. gifts but like i feel like i can be i always want to give people something but that if that's not their love language they don't they're like thanks i don't care you know yeah that's how i am i'm like I like the gesture of you thinking about me. Yeah. I think it's more like, oh, that's a whole different level of language. But yeah. you giving it to, like a gift, like a physical gift, I'm like, I don't care too, too much. I'm like, thanks. Yeah. Thank you. Thank but words you. of affirmation for sure because – But then we're – I don't know. It's just like you can go on a whole thing about love language because like words of affirmation, but like I'd rather you do it. Like, yeah. You can do say everything all you want, but unless you do it, it means nothing to me. Yeah. What is that one? Acts of service. That's what yeah, I like. Okay, That's what okay. I like more. That's Wait, my I first never one. Correlated acts of service with that. That's acts of service is my first one. Like if you can like do something for yeah. me. That's so cute. Yeah. Like you thought of me and you did something. I don't know. Wait, I like that. Like Thank a you. little like I've, I does this count like a little like if you think something tiny like getting a coffee is that that's an act of service? Yeah. Right? Like you they bring you a right. coffee. I love they that. thought about you. They know I love coffee. I'm like, hey. <laughs> Anybody wants to get on her good side? Bring her coffee. I love a good and coffee. I would like one too. I like a caramel or vanilla latte. I like almond milk and for Splenda. I know Splenda's bad. Don't comfort me. Splenda is really bad. In my Splenda's family, terrible. we can't drink it because uh, or we can't eat Splenda. Eat or drink it. She's spoonfuling it in she, her mouth. We can't because uh, my Puerto Rican side of the family says like it gives you like dementia. Yeah, it's very bad for you. Very. Don't forget me one day. Here's the thing. Drink. I drink two Diet Cokes a day and I have... Oh, nine splendors a day. So I'm already, I'm already slowly dying. I'm sorry. So remember when John said to stop drinking Diet Coke? Okay. We, we're, you got to tell him it's the code name. This is all, obviously name we're John. not saying names. It's a code this name. This is her code name. Blah. This is code name John. He told her to stop drinking Diet Coke because it's bad for you. He said a lot more than that. He said, why would he ever... Don't ever speak on DC like that. One, who do you think you are? Yeah, he really did. But We're you know what the thing is too is that I, this family. He, I was like, okay, <laughs> I got myself some poppies. It lasted two days. No, and I think said, one day. I was you, like, I need my DC. Yeah, I need my CFDC, caffeine-free diet coke. I need it. The fact that he would say that though, the disrespect. No, it's not. The, it's he just is looking out for my health. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> no, he was not. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I mean, but it I'm is mad so about bad that for though. you. I'm, I tell my mom, I'm like, we need to stop drinking Splenda. It's Splenda. terrible for Splenda you. Splenda for sure. DC, that I can go with DC. DC, but Splenda. You know, they say when you're pregnant, you might as well just drink something and smoke if you're take if you're drinking DC. <laughs> DC is worse from you. What? Am I DC from you? is worse for you than smoking and drinking. Apparently, according to I need. I need doctors. drafts. I need paperwork on that. I need scientists to tell me that because it is. What about Coke us. Zero? What about Coke Zero? It's rotting us. Oh no. Oh no. She got to take another phone. Cool. Okay. You stepping out to take phone calls for work is the realest thing ever. <laughs> I'm so sorry, guys. She so is sorry. Real. She is relatable. Honestly, though. We I gotta work. It. I gotta make a living. No, we I can do that. two things at once. I'm, I'm yeah. good at multitasking. Mm -hmm. One thing about us women, we can multitask. Well, yeah, we men I, not so sure. I feel like we do a million things at once, job wise too. Oh my gosh, all the time. Constantly. We're always like our minds are constantly going, going. I feel like constantly. I never get enough sleep, but oh, I can no. sleep when I die. Talking about sleep, when I worked at Brandy Melville, I would work till 10 p.m. Mm -hmm. Um, th the other days I would work till 11, get home, edit all the footage that I took at work that day. 
What? And then go to bed, wake up at six and go work out and then go to work again. Sleep is just not a thing. But no. honestly, when you're like, I'm like, when you're young, that was like literally a year ago. A last year, year ago. When you're but young. Really, like it doesn't, it doesn't really matter. You can bounce yeah. like that. And like the motivation of it, it was fun. Yeah. I was going to say that too. Like when you're actually doing what you love. Oh, it's so fun. You're not like thinking like, oh my gosh, I'm so tired. No, I don't mm-hmm. think about it. I'm just like, okay, let's get up. Let's do it. Let's I start get the excited day. to do it. Yeah. Like I, I found myself super excited lately just to do Ooh. things. Yeah. And I was I starting this because we've been talking about this. We've been talking about it on my YouTube. Yeah. We've been telling the girlies and we just get so excited, excited. to do it. I'm already so excited to shoot the next one. I'm I like, know. what am I going to wear? What, what are we going to talk about? We're going to do this weekly too, actually. Weekly. Come back weekly. It's going to be a weekly, weekly yap, yap chat. session. Oh. <laughs> Jinx, you owe me a DFDC. Okay. <laughs> you owe me a CZ or CZ. I know. Uh, a Coke Zero, babe. Oh. Actually, Coke Zero is superior, but we won't get into that combo. I really don't. Okay. Well, one time I had a Coke Zero and I felt like I was passing away as as we spoke. It is so much more caffeinated than a Diet Coke. Well, because you do. Well, no, no. I, that was when I did. Oh. That's when I did non caff That's when I did caffeinated Coke. Don't come for my CZs, okay? It is so much more. I feel like people that drink, what's it called? Coke Zero? Coke Zero, ma'am. Coke Zero are on a different level We're than elite. Diet Coke. We're elite. There's a fuzz on my face. Oh, I, I was like, it? oh, I got it. Because it was itching me. A little bit of an itch. should be itchy. That's Frankie's hair is everywhere. Frankie's hair is everywhere and she's allergic, but like I need to get my son another brother. We can't. I'm sorry. I'm sick. I love Frankie, but I can, I'm out of allergy pills right now, so I have to like stay away from him. Love you from afar. But, but he's depressed, and I will be getting him a son one day. A We're son? Th- I will be getting him a brother, <laughs> not a son. That's a combo for another day because we, we've we never fought. Well, maybe when we move away from each other. But oh. we'll fight about this. No, you love Frankie. Don't say that. I love Frankie so much, but another you cat. Sad? Me crying. She's like, don't say that, please. I know. But my like, allergies ears, cannot son. take it. Cannot. My eyes will be itching, my nose, like literally no, like the inside like, of my eyes. I want to like uh, gouge them out. Not when you take pills. So I'm up to take pills the rest of my life? <laughs> yeah, so am I. <laughs> I take acne pills every day. And hers can be on point, let me tell you. You know what I would love? Hello. A little kitten, but only if they stay small. Not, I'm not, okay, many things I have to say about that. But the first thing is I literally thought you were about to say, oh, I would love a little kiss. <laughs> I would. I actually would. But, but also you're... You're giving that you're the type of person that only likes dogs when they're puppies and no, they give them away. No, If I get a dog, I'm getting a pit bull. Oh, my gosh. Rest in peace to yeah, Roxy. Yeah, but you want a I kitten. You only want it to say a kitten. It was, so you want a child and only want it to say three all your okay. life? Okay. <laughs> hold the phone. Actually, hold. No, I hold feel, the phone, please. I feel more, I feel more um, emos- emotional. I feel more about that with animals. Yeah. I really care about kids. <gasps> but, like, I want it. I, I had friends that would literally... Uh-huh. Get their puppies and then be like, they're old. I don't want them anymore. No, I'm not going to be like Jim. that. But like, they're just so cute when they're younger. Meow. But then they'll claw no, you, you. Have you ever had a cat? Claws? You've never had a cat. Yeah. I can tell. We've had, oh girl, we had you a had cat a growing up. We've had three sets of five or three litters of five each. Okay. Well, growing kittens up. And I saw are them not, give birth. I don't personally like kittens. If oh. I get another cat, I want it to be a cat. I don't like kittens because they are, they don't know. They scratch everything. They scratch you. They're you don't want to go through the trials and tribulations then. I don't. Of, I can of be raising, I can. of raising something. Yeah, I'd rather oh. earn their trust. Me and Frankie didn't start clicking until like two years later, and now that man is that man. I'm sick. That boy is. Someone help her. <laughs> that boy's obsessed with me. Someone help her. Someone help me. No, help he's cute. I like Frankie, but my allergies are just. Love you from afar, honey. You know, honey. I hate to say this. You're going to hate me for this. But you know peanut allergies and how pe- people are like, suck it up. I really want to be like, your allergies are fake. <laughs> You're out. Al- like what? The fur bothers The fur? You? Yeah, it gets in my throat and I don't in my understand nose that. and my eyes. I, I can't Girl, comprehend it. There's every I, I, hair everywhere. I believe you, but I don't comprehend how does that affect you. She doesn't have any I'm sorry allergies. if I'm offending anyone out there. I get it from like... Allergies queen, stand pollen. up, okay? I get it from pollen. Like I understand if people have it from like pollen or like outside stuff, but like fur. Dude, it's literally <laughs> so long. The fur is like creeping in my eyeball. I'm going to go blind from it. It's just a little <laughs> dramatic. The fur is creeping in your eyeball? 
it gets in my hair and my hair <laughs> it gets in my throat and my nose and my eyes this I'm, is getting more in eyes. my eyes than frankie's fur and i live with the boy in my room we're gonna do a sweep and see how much we can pick hair we can pick we up over the first fight <gasps> We've no, never gotten a fight. We've never gotten a fight. And I talked about this the other day. Like, what would happen when we get in a fight? Like, will we get in a fight? How will it happen? Like, a little tiff. Like, how will it happen? And I know how, how it's happening. It? It's happening right here, right now in front of it's everybody. Right. We're about to brawl. About another cat. We're going to brawl. Bring him in. Bring the culprit in. Come on, Frankie. He, I like, just, struts in. I also think she's, she's also a very aggressive human being. And what I mean by that is... <laughs> She's just a fierce, feisty girl. Like I am. everything she does has to be like, I'm loud, aggressive. I'm and loud. I'm like, how do I explain it? One time she was like cutting up like a vegetable, oh. and she was like, oh, and by the way, and she's just talking with the knife <laughs> flinging around her face and everything. And then like I hear like a oh, and I'm like what? And she's like, I just like cut my nail off. Like it everything like she like does, it's like very harsh. Which I love yeah. that. I love that you're a little feisty, I wish little spicy girl. But like, I see Latina. Frankie is scared of every move no, you he, make. When I shut the door, he's fully running a garage. She, guys, she doesn't shut the door. She slams the door. And it, she's, it's on accident. I don't yeah, mean to. Yeah, she doesn't mean it to be in a neg negatory, a negative I'm not play. like slamming like, oh my gosh. No, not at all. It. It's just like, actually, I think the wind plays a part in it. I think you're a little Dulu. I think the wind is, the door just is so light. And when I, when I close it, I don't mean to slam it. It's just like, just all. Oh. I've been known to slam One time car I doors had pretty. Someone over, and <laughs> you shut the door, and they were like, oh, "Is she okay? Like, is she mad?" And John, I was like, no, that's just I don't know. <laughs> oh, it was John. I was like, um, I don't. I was like, no, that's just how she does things. That's how she does it, and I love that. Yeah, I'm sorry if I slam the door. I'm not being. I'm not trying to be aggressive. It's just so I, I got a heavy like, hand. With that being said, you haven't been able to develop a deep relationship with Frankie that that how deep are we gonna get into a relationship so you don't want a woman and a cat, cat how you, deep will we get you can't understand the love like you can't you can't love i feel like you don't love him <laughs> like we're really i love children <laughs> i am fully obsessed I'm with sick. kids but a cat um i'm sorry i like cats do i love them i love frankie okay but that's, that's, that's it that's it that's it that children and frankie and then dogs i don't really love that I don't like dogs. I, don't I like, like dogs, but I don't. I just it depends. I have to have a connection. And yeah. a pit bull, I would like want one so bad. But I know me too. But we do not have time. We have no time. I can't even take them outside. No, that's the thing. We, we got walking paths because we had no time to walk outside. Yeah, that's real. That is so real. There are some days where I'm like, <gasps> "Oopsies, it's dark outside, and I have not stepped a foot outside." Mm -hmm. Fully. Like yesterday, we I looked up and the time was 4.30 and I'm like, huh? Oops. What happened? We used to like do, we used to sit and work all day and then we'd be like, after like dinner, we'd be like, do you yeah. want to go on a walk? Yeah. So we literally wouldn't move all day until we, well, we'd work out. But yeah. like until we went on our walk and now we're like, we're always walking on our little walking pad so we don't even need to go outside. And it's like, oh wait, hold on. Let's be outside. Yeah. Because let's, let's be like. D. Let's be humans, you yeah. know, and see the sunlight and feeling, feeling it, <laughs> feel it. I feel it coming. I feel, I'm Bruno Mars. For summer. <gasps> Bruno Mars. That's the weekend. Oh, you know Bruno Mars and have you heard of, of them and so that Bruno Sonic? Mars? Yes, Silk Sonic is I so love good. Silk Sonic. <sighs> I'd love to see them. But yeah, summer. I'm super excited. She's coming because next week it's gonna be like 78. I think fully will be outside. If the UV index is over five, I'm there. Oh, over s five is a little low. Five is good. You're good. Six base is good. Can. Five is not that good. Six oh. is good. Oh, we're getting in another fight. Oh, no. Are we, we've been talking too long. Yeah. yeah. We need to wrap it up. We need to wrap it up. Sorry, girls. <laughs> no, we're not. It's actually, to be completely honest with you guys, I think we've tried to film this twice now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The first time, this is all new to us, mm -hmm. by the way. I do want to say that because... This is our first episode. Like, it's a little introduction episode. I do want to get into, like, a lot as we yeah. continue. Yes. And, like, it's we'll gonna be dive deep. Super fun. Mm -hmm. Like, just, talk, just, I want it to feel like we're really on a phone call with you guys. Yeah. Catching up. FaceTime. Sleepover vibes. Exactly. Like, just getting in with it all. But um, we got all this stuff for it and these mics and everything. And the Oof. first time we tried to film it, it didn't have anything charged. No. And it was, like, 11 p.m. We were, like... Maybe let's just go to bed. Let's yeah. try again tomorrow. 
So we Ooh. did try again tomorrow. and We sure did. We unfortunately, there were some things that had happened. So this is the third time. Third take. Third time's the charm. Honestly. I think so. I believe I think it. this is the one. Mm-hmm. And I feel like this was just... This is this, this is, is fun. Great. This is good. But yeah, we're gonna do like we, we, weekly, weekly episodes. Yes, weekly I episodes. Think that we might be introducing a phone segment. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. where we are calling. You guys are calling, calling in. in, and we may be able to have a little chat moment. Questions, anything? Ooh, that's <gasps> another Wait, that'd be thing. fun. Let us know what you want us to talk about. Yeah, because we're fully gonna talk about it. Any and everything is yeah, on the table. on the table on the bed. Oh, also our set. Oh, yes. Let us know. Because we're filming in my room right now. Yeah. I think next week we'll film in Ari's. And just let us know which vibes you like, like better. You know, this, like, is, this, this is, is trial calm. and error. Yeah. Trial Ooh. and error. <laughs> this is yeehaw. Trial and, trial and error. Trial and error. So, um, <laughs> did you say era? Era. I fully did. <laughs> She's in her era's tour. Era. So. Yeah. So just let us know again. Open set. to all suggestions. Every, exactly. This is for you. It's for you. I'm like, it's actually girls. for us. We're obs- we love to, we love to yap. We love to talk. Yep. Mm-hmm. We sure do. But we will see you next week to we yap will, a little more. <laughs> we will call you back. back. We will call you back. Be Bye. sure to answer. Bye. <laughs>